Welcome back. Yesterday was a high tension day, but today we enter the semi-final and I suspect it's going to be even more high tension. What's going to happen is that the three of you are going to compete to get into the final. But as you may have noticed, there are four boxes rather than three boxes in front of you. So after we finished the first round yesterday and we eliminated two contestants, I had second thoughts. I thought both of them were good. I thought it was unfair to get rid of them, particularly as one of them had just been eliminated by one point. So I called them back. We went into Ottomo, the chefs were all there. We did a cook-off, we judged them, and we chose one. And that one lucky contestant who's back and who's going to be part of the semi-final is... Please welcome Yuvraj. So here you are again, huh? bad penny, never can get rid of you. Well, I'm glad you're back. Now let me explain the rules of the semi-final. The way it'll work is this. You're gonna have these boxes in front of you. I call them treasure chests. You can open them if you like. Since you're all looking Incredibly puzzled, let me tell you what's in there. There are other things in there, but there's couscous, which those of you who have some experience of North African cookery will know well already. And there are bedgi chilies from Karnataka, which are pretty much the signature chili of that area. We want you to use these ingredients and to create something entirely off the top of your heads. As always, you will have access to the pantry, but here's the difference. Yesterday, we gave you 90 minutes. Most of you, I think, struggle to finish in 90 minutes. So this time, we're going to make it difficult. The time you spend in the pantry is included in your one hour. So in one hour, you look at this, you go to the pantry, you go into the kitchen. We'll give you an assistant like we did last time. And in one hour, use these ingredients, come up with something spectacular. We'll judge it. And after we judge it, there's another bit of a sad ending because only three people can go through the final. One of you will go home. Though you're not looking as terrified as you did yesterday, some of you are still looking mystified by the ingredients in the mystery box. So I'm going to try and make it easier for you. Chef, do you want to tell them what couscous is? Couscous is a, it's, it's a healthy ingredient. It's, it's, it's used, can, can be used in place of rice. It's very popular with salads. It's very good to go with stews, you know, it absorbs the flavors. So it's very versatile, you can do, you can do desserts with it. So you, there's endless combinations. I hate it, but that's okay. Don't, don't let that stop you. You use Massimo, you use Sometimes, yes, for some salads. For salads, that's it? You use it? I don't. Okay, all right, he'll tell you. What do you use it for, make it easier for them all? Well, I, I told you, I, I was speaking to them a little earlier, uh, trying to explain to them the characteristics of couscous. So, you know, it's important that you, you soak them and you soak it in different things, right? You can soak it in, in a stock, you can soak it in, in some flavoured water. You know, give your own twist to it. For, for example, you have to cook one dish and these ingredients are, are a must. Now, innovate before we actually go into it. Think, think, put your head into, into thinking as to what best can you do? Don't try things that you have not tried earlier. And use your ingredients wisely, right? Chilies, again, very, very, don't, don't, don't try and put it in a way that everything will be dominated by chilies because these, these are intimidating, right? And you might personally want to love them, but, but it's important that you balance the dish out, right? Because it's one dish, we are, we'll all be looking into those aspects of it as well, whether a dish is rightly balanced or not. Now this is the semi-final, right? So we can't take it all more uh, casually or lightly anymore. It's, it's about the title of, of Web Chef. It's about you know, being judged by Mr. Sangeet. So it's, it's a lot of deal. It's a big deal. I don't know if you guys realize that or not, but if it has not hit you by now, it should now. And the chili, what do they do with it? Tell us about the chili. Chili, chili I think it comes, it comes from Karnataka. I, think I come from Karnataka. Now, I tell you, this chili is not just hot. It's not too hot, actually. It's, it's hot, but it's got a beautiful flavor, very aromatic flavor. So use it judiciously. It also gives a nice color if you make it a paste. It can be used, goes very well with fish. It goes very well with chicken. It goes very well with mildly with stews. So you can make, even make an interesting pudding with couscous and chili. Pudding? Yes. All right. Don't be that ambitious. <laughs> All right, so two tips, three tips actually. From Vikram, the couscous takes on the flavor of whatever it's boiled in or whatever water you do. So make it take on the flavor. From Chef, the fact that the chili is aromatic, 
that it colors the food. Try and use those ingredients. And from Massimo and me, a third tip, we don't like this food. <laughs> All right, off to the pantry, you're on your own now. For round two, we're supposed to use two main ingredients, which is couscous and bedigi chili. I've worked with bedigi chili before, but I haven't worked with couscous, so that's going to be quite a challenge. And uh, we just get one hour this time, so we really have to plan out what to do. That's going to be very, very difficult. Today we have to cook with two uh, core ingredients, that is couscous and bedgi chilli. Both are very new ingredients for me because I'm still contemplating what to do. But uh, probably it will be something to do with chicken and some bell peppers and tomato. I'm still trying to process what I can do with these three, along with couscous and bedgi chilli of course. So this time it's going to be a nice challenge to cook savoury, experiment with something that I've never tried before. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's a very interesting core to two core ingredients. Um, I'm still thinking, I think I'm going to take a coastal route. Both are, I think, very interesting ingredients. As the uh, chef said, uh, you know, one is coming from Africa, another one from Karnataka. Finding a middle ground is going to be kind of difficult. But I'll go with uh, something uh, with fish and squid. So, incorporating the bedki chilies. Anyway, I'm trying to bring the Karnataka to the coast. Let's see how it's going to be. Well, in today's round, uh... We have to use two main ingredients in one dish which we have to prepare for the judges to taste and uh, it is this uh, this is called bedki mirchi it looks similar to a kashmiri mirchi so first when i saw this I, it came across as a kashmiri mirch but then the chefs cleared my doubt that this is uh, more agro aromatic uh, and uh, this is the first time i'm going to use this and uh, the other thing is couscous which is a North African grain dish and uh, I've never used it before. The chefs uh, gave us some guidance and tips of how to use both these uh, ingredients in our dishes and uh, well after thinking for some time and after the chefs you know gave us the tips of how to use these uh, ingredients, um, I've come up with uh, a fusion of how to use this uh, with the Indian cuisine. So let's see, I'm hoping you know I dish out the best. I've taken some fish, some squid, some bell peppers, potatoes, tomato puree. Chicken, coriander, onions, tomatoes, red bell pepper, salt, pepper, sugar, an egg and chilies. I've taken uh, coriander, green chilies, onions, bell peppers, red and yellow, uh, some saffron, an egg. I've taken sugar, black pepper powder, acetophodia, panko crust, salt and fish fillets. I have uh, red and uh, yellow bell peppers, I have fish slices, I have potato, I have black pepper, I have an egg and some pine nuts. Mm -hmm.